Hi, I'm Holly McLean with Train Lee Tech TV, and I'm here with Christine, our uh, our global, worldwide uh, technical, <laughs> technical director, uh, technical director, advisor, and and uh, keeper of all wonderful gadgets and technology <laughs> things to kind of us, um, you know. Well, I guess pimp up your train a little <laughs> bit. Uh, so. Uh, I, I think on this episode, though, you've been kind of keeping me in the dark. And yeah, so, just a little bit. So perhaps maybe you can shed some light on what we're going to be doing today. Today we're actually going to talk about our ProLine light strips. We have two versions that are available. We have the version that has little screw terminals. And then the uh, versions that are for soldering. Soldering with the little soldering tabs here. Okay, so that's nice. So you have a little bit of, uh, if, perhaps if you're a little bit uh, cramped on space in your in your car, you could, uh, this might be a little bit easier to put in, or or if you don't like soldering, we have the, the yeah. terminal, so yeah. excellent. Um, these are actually fairly easy to install, so let's, let's go ahead and uh, show how to install one. All right, we're just gonna take your, your basic um, LGB uh, Christmas car here, but uh, these will work in practically um, any any car that they'll fit in. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. And um, you know, it, it, in our railroad here at the Alpine and Western Pacific Railroad, we almost all my passenger cars are all lit up, and it is so magical at night to see them going by with the lights with on. With the lights inside. on, yeah. So it is a wonderful addition to any railroad, especially if you uh, have the opportunity to run at night, or if you never have and you want to start doing that. Uh, this is a great way, uh, a really fun and addition. It just, it just adds an extra dimension under your Christmas tree even. Yeah, uh, with the lights on, matter of fact, uh, that's what I want to do this year is uh, have the two Christmas cars and- And put the little lights uh, put in Put the them. lights in them, so. All right, so we basically, uh, the first thing is we have to get power to these lights and there's a couple of different ways that we can do that, right? Mm -hmm. We can go ahead and do track power which we'll go to in a, in a moment, yeah. and uh, a simpler, and less expensive way. Is a nine volt battery. And, and so I guess really the, on, the only downside to that is um, just you have to get in and out of, yeah. of and change the battery from front time to time. I, I found with changing the battery, you can actually, using a little nine volt connector, you can actually just uh, use double sided tape or Velcro and stick it right in the bottom of the coach. Okay and uh, maybe put some black electrical tape on it or whatever mm -hmm. to help mask it. So that's one way to um, use the battery. Um, but so, if you... so for power pickups from the um, uh, tracks, we like using our ProLine light, um, ProLine wheels, mm -hmm. which are spoked just like the wheels on the uh, coach here. And they're easy enough to change. They just snap in and out. Yeah, so um, this, that's this a nice, way. nice matchup with the uh, with the metal pro line. Uh, an advantage to going to the the metal wheel sets, besides getting power into your uh, into your coach for your lights, is they are quite a bit heavier, and they lower the center of gravity uh, a little bit on your cars and add a little bit more weight to them, so that they 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 run. Uh, a lot smoother and more stable. And the plastic sometimes can go ahead, if you're running a lot, uh, build up a little bit more of a film on, on your rails and the, uh, the metal ones don't do that. So uh, as an added bonus to putting the metal wheel sets in, you get uh, a better ride on your, on your coaches and uh, a lot longer, longer life on them as well. So the next part is actually now that I've already installed the wheels very easily, and you notice they just snap in and out, is just pulling the roof off. It also just snaps off. And I'll go ahead and use one of the ones with the screw terminals. Yeah, I, can, I can even do this. So um, there are two holes here for the screw to attach it, and they screw right into these are receptacles right here on the coach. And our ProLine's lights do come with the screws. And you, you really don't have to, you don't want to crank down too hard on these because yeah. you break the circuit board. Um, and there's really no, nothing structural to this other than just holding that little circuit board in place. Yeah, that 
tight enough so it's not rattling around. There we go. All right. Now, an important thing with these is I have a couple of wires already pre -pre prepared. They come with the little ends that plug onto the wheels, or the wheels come with the little ends that plug into them. Um, these can just be crimped onto the wires um, and then, then screwed into the terminals. Now, if you're going to wire up both sets of wheels, which we tend to recommend because it'll help with the, the, uh, the, the eliminate flicker, um, you can also solder a capacitor to it using a, a smaller voltage capacitor, uh, you know, 12, 14 volts, somewhere in there. And these actually have an additional spot for the capacitor to be soldered yes, into. Yes, and that's explained nice. in the directions. Um, so for running this one, we're just going to show, I already have a hole drilled into the base of the coach. And so this one, we're just wiring the one side. Yeah. And once you get that all set up. There it is. We got a little test track here. There you go. Look at that. And uh, a couple other things that you might want to do is you can uh, use like a, a little bit of uh, electrical tape or a hot glue gun and uh, hide the wires. Hide the wires. And also a great time to uh, um, put people in your cars. Mm -hmm. So, and mm -hmm. matter of fact, we have a, a whole assortment of people that are sitting and, and uh, those you can attach in there, put a few people in and uh, make a really nice addition to your, uh, your, your railroad. Yeah. Um, the other neat thing about these lights, and it shows in the directions, is that they can be in, adjusted in their intensity. And there's a, a little there it is teeny, right here. There's a yep. little teeny tiny uh, rheostat, and you can adjust that and uh, dim them down or make them make them bright. And that's a nice feature as well. Because mm -hmm. obviously, in like this type of um, a coach, it would be a, 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 a more subtle, warmer glow. And if you're in a modern passenger car, or whatever, it would be more of a brighter white yeah. fluorescent. Yeah. So, um, that's excellent. So, as always, if you have any questions whatsoever go ahead and give us a call or contact us at www.trainlead.com. Yep. See us on the web. Uh, please follow us on our YouTube channels and Facebook if you like us. Please uh, uh, make those comments and share those uh, if you enjoy them. And once again, thank you, Christine. Yep, thank you. And I'm Holly McLean for Trainlead Tech TV, and we'll see you next time.